Welcome back to today's video about switch statements. A switch statement can be seen as an else if statement, which we discussed in the previous video. But the biggest difference is the expression that's being checked. If you want to compare a variable with different values, you can use the switch statement. So let's create our first switch statement. The syntax of a switch statement is writing down switch, followed by a set of parentheses and curly brackets. Inside the parentheses, we want to specify our condition, and in order to do that, we need to create a variable. My idea is to create a switch statement based on the role that the user has to log in on a website. And what I basically mean with the switch statement that we want to create is that a visitor has a different role than an admin or a super admin or the boss of a company. And we want to echo out different line of codes based on the role of an employee. So let's create a variable called role and set it equal to visitor. So what we want to do is to see if the user that logs in is equal to a visitor. So let's put the role inside the switch. And right now we created our condition. Let's go inside our switch statement and write down a keyword case. You need to define the case block every time you want to specify a check that needs to be done. So right now we want to check in single quotes if our variable is equal to visitor. And let me give you a quick note, in a switch statement, you do not need to end your case with a semicolon, but instead, you need to use a normal colon after every case. If we go one line below, we need to echo out something that needs to be executed if the case is true. So let's echo out, welcome visitor. After that, we need to use a break statement to end the code execution. So let's go one line below and write down break, followed by a semicolon. And if you don't use the break, the script execution will be continued up to the last block in the statement. So let's copy paste the case four times. And let's replace the names. So we want to check if the role is equal to admin. Then we want to say welcome admin. We want to see if the role is equal to super admin. And then we want to echo out welcome super admin. And we've also got the boss and we want to echo out welcome boss. Let me remove the last one. Copy paste it one to express. So let's save it and refresh the browser. And you can see that welcome visitor is printed out because role is equal to visitor. And if we change it to admin, let's save it, refresh it. The output is welcome admin. But what if the rule is something that isn't specified in our switch statement? So let's replace admin with employee. Let's save it, refresh. You can see that nothing is printed out. So what we need to do in order to echo out something is to add a default block. It's not mandatory to add a default block, but it's pretty useful, like you can see. A default can be seen as the else statement because it has no condition and it will be printed out if one of the cases is not true. Let's go below our last break and write down default followed by a colon. Let's go one line below our default and we want to echo out user has no rule. Let's save it, refresh the browser and you can see that user has no rule is printed out. You also don't need to add a break after the default because it's the last condition that will be checked. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.